What's up everyone, welcome back to Fisher Family Adventures. Today we're going through an offshore fishing report for springtime in southwest Florida. I'm going to talk through how the fishing has been recently and what to expect in the next couple months in the springtime. And then I'll show you how I catch and where I fish for each of these different species that you can find in the Gulf of Mexico. Let's start off with red grouper. The season opened January 1st and the bite has been on fire. We've hit our limit every time we've gone out without any trouble. The bite has been really good in 90 to 110 feet and that's where we've gotten most of our keepers on. If you venture out deeper into deeper water, you have a chance to run into some of those fire trucks you've seen me catch on my channel. Late in January, I caught a fish just under 38 inches on a strike line spot. And this is the clip you're seeing here. It was an awesome fight and a great fish. If you have seen my channel, you know I fish mainly strike lines charts on my boat and they put, put me on some really, really good fish. I fish mainly hard bottom and potholes when I'm looking for my red grouper. And grouper aren't really too picky either. They'll bite your artificials as well as your dead and live baits. This next clip here is when we were outfished by my buddy Bill and Enrique using the Nomad Vertex Max Vibe and Bill was using a metal vertical jig, outfished the bait so those things work too. Keep in mind the 20 fathom rule goes away April 1st. So if you're not aware from February 1st to the end of March, you're not allowed to fish outside of 20 fathoms for red grouper. And that ends in a couple days and you can then fish April 1st in deeper water for your reds. The snapper bite has been really good as well. We've done some nighttime fishing for mangroves and it's gone very well with us hitting our limit. So make sure to bring some chum and you can get those fish to start feeding. Keep in mind the full moons if you're looking to snapper fish. Monday the 25th is the next full moon, followed by April 23rd and May 23rd being the full moons in April and May. If you haven't got a chance to do a nighttime snapper trip during, during a full moon, I would highly recommend it, especially since the snappers start spawning in the springtime. And you can catch them either on a light jig head with a small piece of bait or on the bottom with any of your bottom fishing rigs. The yellowtail bite has been really good as well around the wrecks and ledges offshore. If you're looking for a wreck, think of like the Baja California or any other strike lines ledges to catch them. We're also seeing some really big muttons being caught. They're mixed in on the grouper and snapper bottom, especially once you get further north of Key West. So there's no real rhyme to reason to target them. You just have to go to spots you've caught them at before. We've caught 30 plus inches in 90 to 100 feet and also as deep as 160 to 200 feet in some grouper potholes that are far offshore. There are also African pompano around this time of year. Check out some of your local wrecks like the Baja California or any of the towers like the L Tower, which is in 100 feet of water. If you're looking for some APs, they are really cool looking, hard fighting fish and make delicious table fare. Another hard fighting fish that has been around a lot lately has been the cobia. From my own experience and talking with other local captains, the cobia bite this season has been the best it's been in 10, over 10 years. There are a lot of Kobe around and they're all over. We've caught them on the racks and towers inshore and the deep part bottom 100 miles out. I've got a video on how to find Kobe that I'll show you on the screen now. I'll link it.
I love Kobe efficient because they're really, really hard fighting and it's a complete panic when they show up around the boat. Plus they taste delicious. So like grouper, they will almost eat anything. Although we have been catching them on artificials pretty consistently. Specifically the lure I've talked about on my channel a bunch, which is the Nomad Vertex Max Vibe. It's definitely one of my favorites to catch Monster Kobe. We've got a bunch on them already. I have been hearing reports about Kobe on the shrimp boats as well as blackfin tuna. The shrimp boats are usually further southwest past the L Tower, and right now they're holding blackfins and cobia. Usually around this time of year, the cobia will start migrating back up north of the Panhandle for the summer. So get your cobia fishing in now while they're still around. Then also there's permit on the wrecks and the towers further south of Marco Island towards the Keys. There are kingfish within 20 miles of shore to be caught as well. If you're looking for kings, use a, a wire leader with a live thread for an or, or a sardine around 50 to 70 feet, and you should start seeing some kings around. Most of the wrecks in hard bottom should hold threads, sardines, pinfish, and grunts. The channel markers and shallow water wrecks are also good targets to throw a cast net at and fill the live wells. Or if you're short on time, you can buy pin fishing crabs at most local bait shops, and those baits work really well for offshore fishing. I know the local bait shop here on Marco, Marco Bait and Tackle, has been fully stocked since the new year, so go check them out. As the wind starts to calm down and the seas lessen, we should be getting into deep drop territory. We haven't had many weather windows so far this year, but last year we did really well out of Pulley Ridge. We were just waiting for a two to three day window with one or two foot seas, and we'll be out there chasing big queens, tilefish, or perhaps even some rare deep water exotics like a Kitty Mitchell grouper or a long tail sea bass. And in case you were wondering, Strike Lines does have spots out of Pulley Ridge to deep drop on, although you will need the right boat with a big enough tank and some electric reels to do that type of fishing. Finally, red snapper season should be announced sometime in April or May. I know we were all hoping for the same long season we had last year with all those weekends in the fall and a really long season in the summer. That is in the Gulf of Mexico. I know the Atlantic keeps getting screwed year after year. The charter boats should be able to fish June 1st and recreational will begin on June 17th, although they haven't released the full regs yet. They will bite on the vibe as well as any live or dead baits and they're a very, very aggressive fish once you find them out in the deep waters. You're looking at 180 to 200 plus before you find big schools of ARS. If any captain wants to share a fish report with me or promote their charter business, send me an email and we can do some for the next report I'll put out in the summer. Good luck in tight lines. I thought I would include a video of the most giant fish I caught in 2023. So if you're only here for the spring fishing report, you can tune out now. If not, enjoy the video. 2023 has been an awesome year for fishing. I've had the chance to film a number of epic trips offshore with my friends this year. I've been on a number of different awesome boats from my own twin engine offshore center console to quad engine CVs and catamarans. I fished 100 miles offshore where there wasn't a wave in the ocean and you had 100 feet of visibility down. I've caught too many fish to count from groupers, snappers, cobias, kingfish, and many more on myself and my friends fishing bucket list. From the mangroves inshore to the sunsets offshore, I've fished them. This is Fisher Family Adventures, and these are my top fishing moments for 2023. Point number five is this cobia trip we did in the fall, where we caught a stud cobia off the R Tower with my buddies Eric and Bill. Yeah? These gaffers are netters, you think? I think we're far enough away now. Oh, he wants to be Oh, shit. There's big recons this year we've caught. I want to get away from the sharks, too. <laughs> All right. 
Nothing. You're pulling it yours away, Bill. You came off? Hey, Bill, you're... What is that? Holy shit, that's a fucking big one. We got a second gap. We need it. You can gap it? All right, all right. That's a big cobia, dude. Big, big co That might be a 50 pounder. Shit, dude. Yeah, he, he's coming towards us, man. We're gonna get a shot at him right now. You got the guy, Bree? You got a second one in case we need it? Or net? Get it, get it! No. Yeah, bring him backwards too. Got him, you got him, you got him. Hey, bring him, bring him in, bring him in. Watch your feet, watch your feet. Let's fucking go! Oh! <laughs> That's a big boy, dude! Yo, that's a big one. <laughs> on the uh, on the Azuri, right? On the the DK, on the minnow. On the minnow. Oh, he's taken. There's a big MP right there. Oh my goodness. Was that Number four was this trip I did with my buddy Captain Bob from Gulf Bound Charters. We ended up catching six or seven giant African pompano on the day, with me getting my PB on a super rough day offshore. Uh, no. That thing took a line, dude. What I found was there was a school like 30 to 60 pounds jack. Yeah, I need a gap. Yeah, where's where's the gap at? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Keep him coming. Got him. Ah, nice one, dude. Good job. Eat the whole squid. Nice, dude. Eat the squid? Yeah. Nice one, dude. Let me reel up. He, um, he heard me twice say so you're just pulling dead weight and then he's ready. That's the biggest one. Yours was like 34, right? His, I, mine was 33, his was uh, 35. Was that on squid? Yeah. And why did I catch AJ? He's almost there. He's ready. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. That's a good one. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, you gotta that guy up. That's the big Bob, straight one. Bob, you want me to Yep. Was that, that was off the bottom? No, that was halfway down. I just yeah, off, held the bell. Yeah, yeah. 
That's how I, I guess I caught the AJ drift then. Oh, this guy's going all over the place. Yeah, um, that's not good. He's really under the boat. Oh, he's going towards the engines. Bring the rod up a little higher. I don't want him to touch the side of the boat, though. Oh, I think we should be good. Yep, there we go. Good. Thank you. Barely made it past those engines. <laughs> I'm not getting AP vibes. This feels like an AJ. No fucking way did I just get fucking booted again. Old Barry. He can move this rod. No, thank you. Oh, he's coming. He's close. Shit, mine's right there. Is that an AP? Oh, don't go that way. Uh, it's an AP, right, Simone? Perfect. Finally, thank you. Small, but I'll take it. Small AP. AP. All right. Thank you for the net, man. Fucking Hell yeah. Mind if I uh, hold him up for a pick before we release him? Oh shit, that's a big one. Was that on the drop? Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I, oh, I just got sharks. I just had a big snap. Yeah, I got the gap, man. Or you need a minute. Yeah, he's out of ways. Yeah, we might be dude, he, he took him off, dude. He's feeling a little lighter than he did at first. I could hand grab him and if he, we could always try for a bigger. Oh, he's hand grab up. him. That was like a 34 you had. That was a decent one, dude. Where's the net? Uh, up top. I'm just gonna leave my line here until it gets fit, all right? Are we out? Uh, good job. Oh. No, I'm nope, trying to open this while this is tangled up. Hold on. Might be better than yours. That's eh. right at the same size. Woo! Oh, hold on, bring it to me. Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah, that's a little smaller. A little bit bigger. Well, I think that might be bigger. <laughs> might be. On the way up. Wow, that's impressive, man. Releasing this guy back. Want me to stop yelling up? I got one on. Oh, that's a nice queen. Oh, stop. Holy. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, that's a good one. That's my biggest one by far. I don't know about longest, but fattest, definitely. Yeah, that's definitely, I think, longer and fattest. You think? Let me have a picture. That's a toe, there. Pull that guy up. 
Wow. This 46 inch giant queen snapper, Captain Omar got on a polar ridge trip, has to be number three. Is that pulling drag? Yeah. Ho ho! Is he off? No. What depth were you on? 150. 150 meters at 400 I think he's still on there. Man, I think it was pulling drag in the beginning. Came off. I don't know. I think he came off. No, he's still on there. He's still on there. Dude, that thing pulled drag and ran. Oh. I had a bite, but he came off. You got the gaff ready? I love it. He's pulling drag. I know. Drag. That's what I'm saying. I love it. Wow. I haven't had a fish do this yet. Well, unless this three is different than the other one, who knows? Did you see the drag on it? I thought I did good, but unless I have two fish. It looked like one big one hit it, like a big queen I mean, or something. Help, yeah, yeah, I'll gaff it. Oh, do you got a short, smaller gaff than this? No. You paid a lot of money for this. I know, you but... You enjoy that shit. If you tried to gaff like a bottom fish. Remember, they're going to float. So this is, look, I got a two-inch hook. Yeah. So all you got to do is get it by the gills or get it by the, you know, the bite. Got him. No, did he come off? He did. How far are we? 108. He keeps pulling drag. This fish is pulling drag. Dude, I swear your drag's not that. If this is like a little like 20 inch fish, your drag's got to be tighter. I I mean, he's still fighting though. This is pretty crazy. Look at that. That's the bottom we got right now. Dude, what are you doing? You hand cranking it? I just want to see. Look at the size of my hook. Yeah. Look, and you're still catching the million. Look at the size of that guy. It's a grouper. Oh. See my kitty. Dude, that's, an, that's a really big one, too. <laughs> Great fish, everyone. Dude. That's honestly... You got a big fish too? No. no. Coming in at number two, again, with Captain Omar. He got a 36-pound Kitty Mitchell grouper out of Pulley Ridge. What a giant, rare grouper. And on top of the Kitty Mitchell on the same trip, Captain Omar landed a long-tail sea bass. No, it's little. But it's a fish in a box. Sounds good to me. Kyle? No, is that? Holy <laughs> Oh! Uh, that gaff, what do you yeah, want? Get the, where it is, what? A long tail sea bass. Oh, yeah. There, give me, give me, give me, go. I got the weight. Grab the weight, get yeah. out in a hurry. Got it. That. Oh. <laughs> that, you need a picture with Woo! that one. That's cool. That. Oh. Yeah, dude, there's a big piece of structure down here and this fish is in it. All right, I'm gonna try the walking him strategy out. 
I've got a giant red grouper on here in a hole. Watch out, there's structure. Go like full drag, all right? In the top drawer. All right. Yeah. Man, if there's sharks and AJs in this spot, there's got to be good stuff down there. Round two. This fish has got me locked up. Let's see. Yep. He's out. No. I had him out. He got back in immediately. Oh. Let him go. Man, he was out. <sighs> yeah, I'll try the banjo on him. It's up there somewhere. <sighs> He's pulling lobster traps, I think. Oh, this is on a pinfish. Come on. Get up. There we go. This is a good red. Or it's a big AJ. Give me that blue thing. That blue thing. I got him off the bottom. Is it either a good AJ or a good red? I might be an AJ, he's kicking man still. So. See him yet? Oh man. It's gotta be an AJ, right? I don't know. I don't think I've got him too far. Yeah. Could be a big snapper. It's either a big snapper or a big red or I guess an AJ. Red? Yes! That's a good one. Yes! Oh my god, big! Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh. Oh. That's what we're looking for. I knew they were at this spot. I'm gonna go that. This is the grouper who broke me off. That was in the reef. That was in the hole. This is him. Found this in his mouth. Wow. Yeah, man. This. Wow. This is a. Man, he's just gonna barely hooked. Look at the scratches all over this red grouper. GoPro, start recording. Finally, my number one best fish of the year was when I caught this 38 inch red grouper earlier in the year. It was an incredible fight and I'm so glad I could share it with all of you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the new year and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.